In this lesson, we'll go over the second part of chapter seven in probability and statistics for engineers. Yesterday, we covered the first part of chapter seven, which we talked about things like maximum error and confidence intervals. And then we also talked about when to use the Z distribution versus the T distribution. Remember the Z distribution is for large sample sizes and when we know the population standard deviation. The T distribution we use when we have small sample sizes and also the, the standard deviation of the population is unknown. So I'll try to keep these videos short and let's get into it. So today we'll cover hypothesis testing. So the first thing we need to talk about is what is a hypothesis? Really a hypothesis is something that you want to happen or you want to verify given an experiment. And you can think about this in your science experiments, right? You, you want to collect some data and verify some result. Um, and, and kind of the first step of this is, you know, first reading the problem over. For example, uh, here we have define a hypothesis. So we would like to examine the internal diameter of a bearing that is intended to have an internal diameter of 1.5 inches exactly. Now we have to formalize this. So we have to formalize it. Basically, we're gonna have two hypotheses. We're gonna have one hypothesis that the bearing is exactly equal to 1.5 and another hypothesis that it does not equal 1.5. So, so we call a kind of the one that is equal to 1.5, the hypothesis there, we call that the null hypothesis. And then we propose an alternative hypothesis that the uh, internal diameter is not 1.5. Now, if we do that, we can put that in mathematical terms, which is shown here. So we have the null hypothesis, which is given by H sub zero, and we have mu, the mean, is equal to 1.5. And then our alternative hypothesis is mu is not equal to 1.5. So this is kind of our mathematical formulation, and that's going to be the first step in all of our hypothesis testing. We formalize the hypotheses. 